Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take a look at how uh, tangent and non-tangent circle arcs work in traverses. Okay, so what's a traverse? A traverse is a way of describing a line. Here's a line right here. And I formatted the line so that uh, the uh, end icon is this little arrowhead and the start icon is this little dot so you can see which direction the uh, line goes. A traverse is a way of describing a line not by the coordinates of each vertex that define the line but instead by defining the direction of the line. And um, let's take a look at how this particular line works. I'm going to alt click it to pick it and uh, I'll click it right there to choose it for edit and call it the coordinates dialog and um, as you, the coordinates uh, tab in the uh, record pane and uh, as you can see here, this is what the coordinates of the various uh, vertex vertices are in the line. It starts with uh, this one right here, which is uh, minus 10, 90, and here it's uh, uh, 0, 80, and, and so forth down to the end. And we can change it to traverse format by calling by choosing Show Traverse in this uh, drop-down menu. And you can see how it works. Uh, we start at the minus 10, uh, 90 coordinate, and then we go for, in the 135 degree direction, for uh, 14 meters, and then for the next segment we go at the 180 degree direction for 10 meters, and then for the final segment we go in the 90 degree uh, direction for uh, 20 meters. This is a uh, Esri Traverse format. Manifold shows traverses using Esri Traverse format. There are a lot of options to Esri Traverse format. Uh, we can change the options here by uh, choosing which uh, rows we want to uh, change to the different format, and we can choose it, change it from direction and distance to angle and distance where it, it goes into a uh, relative positioning. So here we go in the 135 degree direction for 14 uh, meters. Then we turn 45 degrees to the right, so that's this turn right there, and we go for 10 meters. Then we go 270 degrees, that's the nomenclature used, like that, and we go 20 meters. Uh, let's turn that back to uh, direction and distance mode. Um, and uh, what we're now going to do is we're going to do a circle arc. Some people, are, a lot of people, understandably, are confused by the difference between a tangent and a non-tangent circle arc. That's uh, Esri nomenclature, uh, which, which they call tangent and non-tangent circles. And let's see how that works in Manifold. And let's see how uh, Manifold, by previews, by the previews that it can do in the middle of editing, uh, can interact with this uh, coordinates uh, panel uh, pane on the fly. I'm going to right-click onto this final. Uh, coordinate. I'm going to and I'm going to choose continue branch. Now, here what I've set up, by the way, is in the uh, snap par parameters dialog. We've changed it. We've set up the grid so it snaps every 10 meters. And uh, snapping is on and it's snapping to a grid. So that's why when I move the uh, oops, so let's uh, delete that last coordinate. Let's delete the last two coordinates. So that now when I move the uh, cursor, it's snapping to uh, 10 meter grid locations. So now let's snap to this one, which is 10 meters, and let's snap, snap up here to no another 10 meters. So that's a total of 20 meters. I'm going to click that to create a point. And uh, let's now save changes. So what I've just done is I've extended the line. I'll unpick it so you can see the line more clearly. I've extended the line from here going up that way, the simple way to edit an object. So now let's convert this last segment to a circle arc. To do that, I'm going to pick the uh, line again. I'm going to click on there to choose the segment, and uh, while we're at it, let's uh, change this into Show Traverse Mode again. And here I'm going to right-click onto this segment, I'm going to choose Convert to Circle. So right away that change converts it to what's called a non-tangent circle arc. Uh, and you can see where, it's, where it says here, NC, is, is as we speak for uh, non-tangent circle arc. And what I can do is I can set the parameters of this uh, circle arc, and as I move it to different locations, uh, when I release, you can see it, uh, the uh, coordinates panel here will change. So for example, when we go from the uh, non-tangent circle arc, if I move it, if I move this uh, defining control point there, this just turns into a straight line. So that's just another straight line, a, a direction and distance straight line. If I move it out to here, it changes into being a tangent circle arc. And uh, let's update the record. Let's, let's make that a tangent circle arc, and let's see why it's called a tangent circle arc. Update record. Whether or not something is a tangent circle arc depends on this line segment preceding it. So here I'm going to turn on this other layer called lines. And what I've done here is I've drawn a, a line, a green line in this other layer that continues this line segment right there. Uh, going back to here and picking this again, we can see what makes this a tangent circle arc. If we look at this line segment that immediately precedes it right here, the tangent circle arc continues directly from that line. It starts right from this line. So if we drew this 
finished off the circle in both directions like that, we'd see that, this, that the uh, circle was tangent to this line here. That's why it's called a tangent circle arc. And uh, in fact, I can, uh, as you can see, change it, m make it like this so you can see how the complete circle uh, is tangent to the, uh, to the line at the bottom. That's why it's called a tangent circle arc. And uh, if we uh, go back here and, and show the traverse, we can see how moving it into, in, in uh, different ways makes it now non-tangent when it's off to this side. Manifold will automatically adjust for that. Uh, and Manifold will automatically will adjust if it, if it understands that it, well, it's now a straight line. It's no longer a circle arc. So let's leave that the tangent circle arc that it was. And instead, let's go down here and we'll uh, mess around with this coordinate right here. What defines this to be a tangent circle arc or not is the immediately preceding line segment. If the, if the circle arc smoothly starts and continues from that in the same direction, the direction tangency of that initial segment, it's a tangent circle arc. If, however, this is a different line, like, like say, like right down here, okay, it's now switches to being a non-tangent circle arc, because if you take this line here and extend this line upwards, clearly that line upwards is no longer tangent to that circle. So this is no, so that line at the bottom is no longer tangent to what that circle would be. And that makes it a non-tangent circle arc. Uh, and uh, what we have done here is we've shown how all this, uh, let's go back to where that was. Uh, what we've done is we've shown how all this uh, automatically is adapted. If we move the uh, coordinate for the preceding segment into any location where the circle arc could be called a tangent circle arc, Manifold will automatically make it a tangent circle arc. If it, if it moves to any location where it's not a circle tangent circle arc, a non-tangent circle arc, then Manifold will automatically make it a non-tangent circle arc. That's a very convenient way of uh, doing this, and as you'll see when we, uh, when you start working with uh, traverses in Manifold, uh, Manifold makes it really easy to see what's going on in a traverse and to see various different ways uh, of ESRI nomenclature, because ESRI nomenclature gives you a lot of different options for showing the same thing to see what, what's going on in a traverse. Traverses, by the way, are often thought of something that's unique only to uh, uh, the American surveying system, the surveying system that's used in the United States for defining parcels in the United States. But uh, really, traverses are quite useful in any, any place worldwide where you may want to def define uh, lines based on uh, uh, direction and distance as opposed to um, just simply lists of coordinates. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.